Hey everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. Today I'm reviewing three of four of the Yankee Candle 2023 UK Christmas collection. So I've already reviewed Shimmering Christmas Tree and I've already reviewed Sparkling Winterberry. I will link them both down below just in case you haven't seen them yet. Um, and I've still got to review Magical Bright Lights. But today I am reviewing holiday cheer i'll pop a picture of the jar in now just so you can see what the actual jar looks like so this is only available in the large and medium signature jars at the moment large jar being 29.99 and as i've mentioned in my two previous videos um, I bought the Crumble Pots through Wax Addicts, who I will also link down below, just because they had all of the Crumble Pots available. And at the time of filming, they've still got all four cents on there. Um, and obviously, the rest of the um, variations for the Christmas 2023 collection are not being released until October. We still don't know why they've given them to us early. I feel like they think they're treating us, but I'm still being a bit bit a bit bitter about the fact that we didn't get um, the scent of the year, an Easter scent, no returning favourites. So this doesn't quite make up for the disappointment of what we were supposed to get throughout the year, but it's exciting for me to be able to review them for you so early because I really didn't think I'd be able to get these until October. And I'm so, so happy that Wax Addicts got them in the crumble pots because there was no way I was going to be able to afford to buy four large or medium signature jars with the prices they are. So if you are impatient like me and you want to try the Christmas collection now, head over to Wax Addicts. Um, if not, then Yankee Candle should have the rest of the formats available from October. So you may, uh, just before I do get into the holiday cheer um, scent itself, you may remember that when I did um, like what's coming up in 2023 video at the start of the year, I did also mention that with the festive collection, there would be two other scents as well. One called Silver Sage and Pine and one called White Spruce and Grapefruit. So they was originally announced as being part of the festive collection. But just in case, I should have mentioned it in the last two videos, but just in case you're wondering why I've only got these four and not those two, if you go on the Yankee Candle website, both of those other scents have actually been available for quite a while now. Um, and you can get them in the glass votive, the different jar sizes, um, the wax mill. So them two got bought out earlier in the year and they were supposed to be a festive release. But if you go on the website now, um, you can get both of those scents in the different formats. So just to let you know, in case you'd watched that video earlier in the year and was expecting there to be um, them extra two to review for October, they are already out. So the main UK 2023 festive collection only consists of these four scents, Magical Bright Lights, Sparkling Winterberry, Shimmering Christmas Tree and Holiday Cheer. So let's get into Holiday Cheer itself. So the fragrance notes for this one, we've got top notes of cardamom with licorice and pepper, mid notes of orchid, plum and blackberry wine, with base notes of amber, vanilla sugar and tonka bean. So I did really like this scent, I did. I just really wish it was a bit stronger. So I loved the scent notes that came through. I could definitely smell like the licorice, which I can't say I've had a candle that I could say that i smelt that on before whether or not it was in the notes but i feel like you can genuinely smell the licorice in this it's got a sweet scent it's not too sickly or overpowering sweet um you can definitely smell like amber and vanilla in there and i would say the blackberry wine if i was going to have to say two top notes i would say the blackberry wine and the licorice are the two predominant notes in there for me and then base notes of amber and vanilla so it's a nice sweet scent. I even I wouldn't particularly read those scent notes and think that's festive, but once they all come together burning this, it has been really nice and I do feel like it is a lovely autumnal cold evening scent. But yeah, I just I really wish it would have been a little bit stronger. So the oh it's hard it's going to be hard to like do this in first, second, third and fourth place. I know I've still got magical bright lights to review as well. But for me, Sparkling Winsberry has been number one. And then this is where it gets difficult because Shimmering Christmas Tree was a stronger throw. But personally, for me, I'm putting it in third place because pine scents just aren't my favourite scent. And I'm putting Holiday Cheer in second place. 
but if we are going on throw rather than the scents that I prefer, then it's definitely got to be Pine in first place, the Shimmer and Christmas Tree, um, Winterberry second place and Holiday Cheer in third place. But if you watch my reviews and you've got similar um, tastes to me, so to speak, even though you're scent smelling the candle, similar, um, similar nose, then I would say Sparkling Winterberry, Holiday Cheer and Shimmer and Christmas Tree so far for my order. So yeah, it's not based on the throw rating but i just i'm not a fan of pine scents so although shimmer and christmas tree was really strong personally it's just not one of my favorite scents so i've got to put it in third place but holiday cheer it's definitely going to be better in a smaller room it might be different if you have the large jar or if you put it under a candle lamp but for the wax melt version i definitely think it's you're going to appreciate it more in a smaller room. I think the scent will get lost if you have it in more of an open area. Just because, like, like I say, it's not that strong. It's sweet, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. And it's really nice because those scent notes are there and they're very distinctive. But I just wish it would have been a little bit stronger. Like the Shimmer and Christmas Tree, I could smell that the minute I walked upstairs to come into my bedroom. Whereas a holiday cheer, I've had to actually walk in the room and sort of really smell for it. You can smell it's there, but it's just not as in your face as what the other two scents have been that I've reviewed so far. So for a throw rating, I'd probably give it um, a five or a six out of ten. Five sounds too harsh because I do really, really enjoy the notes in this. It's really nice notes. And like I say, if you have a different format, like a large jar, it might perform a little bit stronger. So I'm going to go over six out of ten just because I, I really liked the notes that came through in this. So six out of ten for this one on the throw rating. Um, and like I say, if, if you can't afford the large jars or you don't want to wait till October, head over to Wax Addicts and, and they've got them on there as well. And they also do their own brands of scents and other brands such as Bath and Body Works um, and Candleberry. So definitely check them out. Um, I also wanted to know as well, the Yankee Candle website, as of this week, has added a Halloween section. So we haven't been told we're getting anything for Halloween at all, not even since the start of the year. Like I say, we was meant to get returning favourites, scent of the year um, and Easter, and they never turned up in the UK. But Halloween's just been a no-go. Whereas the US have got a few scents um, announced that they're going to get and some accessories, which they always do. But if you go on the UK Yankee Candle website, it's a bit sad. Um, all there is on there is Witch's Brew, which I know that is a fan favourite. But we had it last year. It's been about for a long time. It's To me, it's, it's nothing overly special just because we have had it before. Um, I wanted something new. Or even maybe one that we hadn't had for a couple of two or three years. Like I loved Pumpkin Patch. That was a really good one we got here in the UK. But Witch's Brew, we had it last year. It was a returning one from previous years as well. And like I say, I know it's a fan favourite. I wasn't personally that keen on it. Um, and the other one that they've got on there is Pumpkin Maple Cream Caramel, which it's not really a Halloween release. It was an autumn release and they've just put it underneath the Halloween section. So it looks like that might be all we're getting. Um, and the Witch's Brew as well. It's actually in the old style jar. If you go on the website and have a look. I'll link Yankee Candle down below in the description as well. But yeah, if you go on the Halloween section, Witch's Brew is still in the original format jar. The original large jar. That's the only way you can get it on there at the moment. But it's probably old stock, let's be honest, if it's in the old jar. But yeah, you can get the pumpkin um, maple cream caramel on there in some different formats, which is actually an autumn 2023 release, but they've put it underneath Halloween. Don't get me wrong, pumpkin to me, that is Halloween-y, autumnal, and a lot of the scents that the US get in autumn and for Halloween are pumpkin. So it does fit in, but it's a bit annoying that they've put it underneath the Halloween section like they've released it for us for Halloween when it looks like we're just getting witches brew again. So thank you as always for watching. Let me know if you've tried any of the 2023 Christmas scents yet or if you're going to wait until October and maybe get yourself some different formats. Um, let me know what you think about the Halloween scents as well. Were you disappointed by that? Personally, I think Halloween is really overlooked here in the UK by Yankee Candle. There's so many Yankee Candle fans. I, I don't know why we don't get two or three scents, but I say that and I feel like the whole of the scent list that we were supposed to get have been overlooked by Yankee Candle here in the UK this year so 
I'm not bitter. I don't want to keep bringing it up, but it is very annoying. I was so looking forward to the Easter release and it would be nice to have something new or even a couple of options for Halloween. Even if, if Pumpkin Patch was on there with Witch's Brew, maybe I'd feel a little bit better because we were at least getting a couple of Halloween options, but just the one at the moment. But I'll keep my eye up, peel, my eyes peeled and uh, see if they do release anything else. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll get them new reviews out for you soon.